set up there. Alright. Alright, shot one, shot one, shot one. Alright. Alright, this is morning camp, man. Saturday morning camp. Alright. So with that, we're gonna face the east and we're gonna say all praise to go the case it goes to. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak with God. Double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great men know who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole collect that scattered abroad. To your brothers out there pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity. And to the alcohol, the peace sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. All right, coming back at you with another lesson. Let me see something like, let me do this right quick. Let's do it this way because I want y'all to hear me. All right, let's do it this way. All right, I'm trying to set this up. All right. Trying to make sure y'all can see me. Hold on, wait, wait, quick. All right, all right. There we go. All right, trying to get that set up. Hold on. All right, hold on. One minute. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> getting set up here. All right, bear with me. Right, there we go. Right, see, got my 12 tri char sign right here. All right, there we go. See, All right. let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, okay? That's a lock you. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this the best I can, man. All right, so hey, bear with me. All right, we're going to get through this, man. So with that, like I said, all praise and glorification go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash, the Lord, City, Elves, and the Apostles, the Great Men, Stone, Who, Who, Will, Peace, Blessings, and Salutations go to the whole collect that's got abroad, okay? All right, to you brothers out there, pushing the truth with all righteousness and sincerity, and to the Yaqua, the peace sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say, Shalom, all right? Coming back here to another lesson. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and the Lord, to the fire and the feet, the lambs, of you, how about Shmuel Shai? I praise and let's be able to find this straight to the point, man. Okay, all right. And this is uh, camp, all right. Saturday morning camp, man. All right. So without further ado, let's get into it, man. All right. And this subject we're gonna talk about today, man. Persecution. Persecution is coming, man. All right. Persecution is coming. Okay. So hey, you gotta be prepared for that, man, because. We're getting close to the end of this devil's rulership, man. The end of this wicked-ass queendom. So, hey, we're about to go through that. So, without further ado, let's get into it, man. Okay? Because glory all about Shimmy y'all shot. He's going to fight for us, man. So, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay? We ain't got nothing to worry about. Okay? So, hey, the Lord's going to fight for his elect, man. So, without further ado, let's get into it, bro. Because, hey. These devils about to come down with great wrath. We're going to start off here in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice. Actually, let me start up a little bit. Let's start up with verse 7. Okay? Because, hey, this devil's kingdom is falling, man. Okay? Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. And there was war in heaven. All right? And that war in heaven is talking about here. It's going to happen here on earth, man. In this damn devil's kingdom. Okay? Yahweh Shai is coming back to smash this devil's kingdom, man. Okay? Alright? And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought against fought and his angels. Alright? So when Yahweh Shai comes back on that fellowship cherry, man, it's on. Okay? <laughs> it's on, man. So ain't nothing these devils can do, man. Alright? Verse 8. And prevailed not. And prevailed not. Neither neither was there a place found anymore in heaven okay so hey these devils about to be taken out of rulership and their kingdom is falling fast man all right it's not you all right so i'm trying to get so y'all can see me best thing you know how man okay so like i say bear with me all right <laughs> first time doing this man so bear with me i'll get the hang of it all right all right and like i said and prevail not neither was there a place found anymore in heaven verse 9 and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, 
which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels was cast out with him. All right? So when this devil fall, man, this devil's going to be cast down to earth, man. All right? He's going to become hey. He's going to be cast down. He's going to fall out of root shit, and his ass is going to do a thousand years of captivity, man. You damn devil's got a thousand years of captivity waiting for you. Okay? Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying, in heaven, now it's called salvation, and the salvation, not, let me read that again, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now it's called salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power, and the power of his amashiach, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night, and these devils accuses us, man, all right, day and night, man, all right, calling us terrorists, and hey, they're going to label us as terrorists, man. All right? They're going to label us as terrorists. They're going to label us all things. They're already doing that, man. Okay? Let's, let's, let's continue on. Let's read this again. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now it's called salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. Verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. So we don't love our lives, man. We hate this place. We ready for this place to be destroyed, man. Okay? We ready to get the hell up out of here. All right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shimei, I was shot, man. We ready to go. Okay? We ready. That's why you see chariots. That's why these devils stood up a damn so-called UFO task force, man. All right? Claiming that they... Taking things out of the sky, man. You ain't taking nothing out of no sky, man. All right? You ain't taking nothing out of no... You shooting nothing out of no sky or anything like that, man. So don't believe what these devils are selling, man. Okay? And we don't love our lives to the death, man. Okay? Verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. These devils know that they got a short time to rule. So, hey, they're going to come with all the stops, man. Okay? They're going to come with it all, man. All right? So, hey, the Lord says, strive unto this truth unto death, man. All right? Let's get that scripture. Sirach of Ecclesiastes, chapter 4 and verse 28. And it reads, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua shall fight for thee. So, the Lord's going to fight for us, man. All right? The glory of Hashem Yahshua, he got us, okay? All right? So, hey, let these devils do what they're going to do, man. Let them get it over with, okay? All right? Let's continue. All right? What else we got in here? All right? Let's see. Yeah, let's go to here. Because this is coming, man, okay? This is coming. Revelate, snog, snog here. Luke chapter 21 and verse 12, man. The book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 12. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you. Yeah, they're going to lay their hands on us, man. Okay? They're going to persecute us. Some of us may be put to death, man. Revelation 20 and 4. So, hey, some of us might be put to death. It's not about the noise in the background, man. All right? So, I'm, hey, look. Some of us, they're going to persecute us, put us to death, okay? But hey, the Lord got us, man. Like I said, like I just read, strive for this truth unto death. And the Lord Yahabashim Yahshua shall fight for us, man. The Lord Yahabashim Yahshua, he got us, man, okay? Let's read this again. The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 12. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons. Yeah. Revelation to a team. Let's get that, man. That's the spirit. Let's get that. All right. Revelation 2 and 10. Yep. I should have put that bookmark that. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Okay. The Lord didn't give us a spirit of fear, man. Okay. Fear none of these things which we're about to go through. Okay. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yeah. 
FEMA camps, concentration camps, man, that's coming, okay? So, hey, we're going to be persecuted for this truth, okay? Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. And this is what we're looking forward to, man. We're looking forward for that crown of life, okay? Verse 11. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And who are the churches? The Israelites, man. The men of the Lord, okay? All right? Where was I? Yeah, verse 11 again. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So we're praying to you. How about you, Yom Shai, that we don't be hurt of that second death. That's going to be right here in Babylon, the great America, man. Okay? So, hey, we don't want to be hurt of that second death, man. All right? Let's go back to Luke. Yeah, it's cold out here this morning. <laughs> all right? But that's all right, though. Still got to teach, man. Hey, we're going to get through it. All right? Let's see, we're still going. Yep, we're still going. Still going good. All right, let's keep going. Back to Luke chapter 21 and verse 12. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons. We just got to reading that Revelation 2 and 10, man. Okay, that was the spirit. Being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Yeah, for a testimony, man. Okay, all right. And as a matter of fact, let's go back to Revelation 12. Revelation 12 and 17. Okay. Book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 17. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. All right. Who's this talking about? All right. The dragon is talking about Esau eating the so-called white man. This damn devil. Okay. And who he's wroth with? He's wroth with the remnant. Okay. And he's going to try to make war with the remnant of his seed, man. All right. So this devil wants to make war with the Israelites, man. Okay. All right. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 17. And the dragon was wrought with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. All right. This devil is going to come in like a flood, man. All right. He's going to come in like a flood, sparing none. Okay. Uh, where was I? Which keep the commandments of Yahweh and have the testimony of Yahweh uh, Hamashiach. You see, let's read that again. Revelation 12 and 17 again. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which kept the commandments of Yahweh and had the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So, yes, we're going to be persecuted for this truth, man. Okay? We're going to be persecuted for this truth, for truth's sake, man. Okay? Let's go back to Luke. Hope I still got that in there. Yep. Still got it. Still got it. All right, verse 13 now. Luke chapter 21, verse 13. And it shall turn to and it shall turn to you for a testimony you just got to do reading that man all right all right we're gonna be brought before these damn judges these rulers man all of that shit for a testimony of y'all about some y'all shot okay and hey let's read on verse 14 settle it therefore in your hearts which means your mind not to meditate before what ye shall answer so we ain't worried about what you Hey, the Lord is going to give us the words to speak, man. Okay? Verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Woo! There you go, man. All right? Let's read that again, man. That was beautiful. Luke chapter 21 and verse 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom. The Lord is going to speak for us, man. And I'm going to get that scripture. Okay? Well, y'all about to y'all shot. He's going to speak for his elect, man. So we ain't worried about what these devils going to do to us. Okay? Not even two-thirds of our own people, man. Because two-thirds of our people, they already hate us. They already made up their mind who they siding with, man. Okay? Verse 15 again. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. There you go, man. Let's read on. Actually, let me read verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. Yes. Your friends going to turn on you, man. Your kinfolks going to turn on you. Your parents, your cousins, 
All right. If your cousins know what you're doing, man, out here prophesying, laboring, all right, they're going to turn on you. Your friends going to turn on you, man. Everybody's going to turn on you. They know you. But that's okay, though. All right. So what? Hey, the Lord said, bless, you know, who? Let me read. Let me finish reading this and then I'm going to get that scripture. That's Matthew, man. That's spirit. Let's go. All right. Luke chapter 21, verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you, they shall cause to be put to death. Yes, some of us are going to be put to death, man. Yeah, let's read verse 18. Snock, not verse 18. Verse 17, snock you. Okay, hold on. And ye shall be, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. So yeah, we're gonna be hated, man. Okay, all right, we're gonna be hated. But that's okay though, man. Whew. Go to Luke. I'm not Luke, but Matthew. Go to Matthew, chapter five, and where is that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, right here, verse 10. Matthew 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, and this is what we're looking forward to, man. Let's read this again. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Yeah, we're blessed, man. All right? People hate us. They hate seeing us out here. They say... They hate seeing us on YouTube, Bitchu, Odyssey, Rumble, all of that, man. Okay? Pretty soon, <laughs> these same people that hate us and call us terrorists and, you know, saying we hateful and we teach hate and all that shit, they're going to be looking for answers, man. Amos 8 and 11 real soon. But they ain't going to find it, man. Because the Lord, how about you, Shai, he's going to cut this word off. Okay? Let's get, let's get going. Uh, where was I? Verse 10. Let's read verse 10 again. Matthew 5 and verse 10 again. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evils against you falsely for my sake. Yeah, you blessed, man. All right. You blessed. Okay. Fuck these people, man. These people... Man, these people out here, they done, man. All right? These people out here, they done. Okay? They done, they finished, they through. All right? <laughs> let's see. Uh, Yeah, let's read verse 12. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. This is what we're looking forward to, the kingdom of heaven, man. We're looking for the kingdom of heaven. We're looking to get spiritual powers, rule over this damn devil to see Babylon the great America get destroyed etc we're looking that that's the big blessing man this is what we're looking forward to man fuck this place man this is not our rest all right michael 2 and 10 says arise ye and depart for this is not your rest this is not our rest man all right see all right let's go to now yeah let's go here all right john chapter 15 verse 18 if the world hate you Know ye that the, it hated me before it hated you. Let's read that again. John chapter 15, verse 18. Stupid crow. Shut up. <laughs> crow, man. <laughs> John 15, verse 18. And if the world hated you, know ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So they hate. When Yahushua came on the scene, hey, look how they did Yahushua, man. All right? We're making our bodies a living sacrifice, man. We're fools for you. How about some y'all shy, man? Okay? So we don't give a damn what these people think, man. All right? They hate your house shy, man. The true, true your house shy. Not that, not that fake uh, God that they ignorantly call Jesus Christ, man. Okay? Verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, Therefore, the world hated you. Yes, these people hate us, man, but that's okay. All right? I don't give a damn. So what? <laughs> All right? Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's read verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they 
they will keep yours also. Yeah. There you go, man. Let me just explain that. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. All right. Let's see where we want to go next. Yeah, let's go here. Second Ezra chapter 16, and let's read verse 68. Okay? Actually, hold on. No, let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 10 and verse... Let's read verse 16. All right? Book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Yeah. We're sheep, man, in the midst of wolves, man. Okay? Read. Let's continue. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves, man. So, hey, we're going to be wise as a serpent, use wisdom, and at the same time be harmless as a dove, man. Okay? Let's continue to read on. Verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. We read that in Luke 21, man. But hey, all right, we're going to read it again. Verse 18. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Yes, that's about to happen, man. Persecution is coming. And some of us might be put to death, man. Okay? Let's see, we're still going. Yep, we're still going, man. All right, let's continue. Verse 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Yeah. Words of the Lord is going to speak for us, man. Y'all about to y'all shy is going to speak for us, man. Okay? What was that? Yeah, let's read on. Verse 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Verse 21. And the brother shall be delivered up to the brother to death. So now, let me read that again. Matthew 10, verse 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, Snarky. And the father of the child and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. All right? So, hey, we endure to the end, we're going to be saved. Point blank, period, man. Okay? All right, let's continue. <laughs> it's cold out here, man. Cold out here this morning. My goodness. <laughs> but we're going to get through it, though. Let's continue. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And who's that burning wrath, man? Hey, these Edomites, man. And we read that in uh, Revelation 12 and 12. These devils are going to come down with great wrath because they know that they have but a short time to rule, man. Okay? Let's continue. Uh, what was that? Yeah, let's gonna read this again. Second Israel chapter 16 and verse 68. For the birth for behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take uh, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle all with things offered unto idols. And what's that going and what's that idol gonna be, man? Alright, the MOTV. Alright, the mark of the beast, man. The RFID microchip. And I'm gonna say it once. Because I don't want the video to get taken down, okay? So hey, that's what's coming, man. Okay? These dogs gonna take us away to these FEMA camps, man. Okay? And they're gonna try to get us to take that RFID snogging. I'm gonna say. Alright, you know what I mean. Alright, the MOTV to see here. Alright, Snocky. I gotta watch gotta watch my language, man, because you know how Esau is, man. Esau take down down this video. I don't want this video to get taken down, man. Okay? Alright. Verse 69. And they that consult unto them shall be had in derision and re re and reproach and trodden underfoot. Alright? So those who take this MOTB, man, hey, they gonna be trodden underfoot, man. And like it tells you in Revelation chapter 14, verse 19, if you worship the beast and his image and receive this mark in his forehead and his hand, you're going to be left here to be destroyed, man, when this place gets destroyed, man. Babylon, the great America, okay? Verse 70, but there should be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the glory. How about Shem Yeah, that's coming, all right? All right, persecution. Verse 71, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those 
that fear the Lord, how about Shai? Yeah, they're gonna hey come after us, man. They're gonna come after the men of the Lord. Like it's trying to rain a little bit. Uh, it's trying to rain a little bit. Let me let me let me continue to read on. All right. And like I said, man, when these devils come in like a flood, let's get that scripture. All right. It starts to rain. I'm gonna have to wrap it up. That's okay. Isaiah 59 verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord and how about you shine from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord and how about you shine shall lift up a standard against him. So a standard is going to be lifted up for his men, man. Okay? Point blank period. So we ain't worried about it, man. Okay? Spiritual powers are coming. Miracles are coming, man. Okay? Let's go back. Go back. Hold on. Let's go back to Second Ezra 16 and verse 71. All right. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 71. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. How about me outside? Okay. So yeah, you guys gonna come after the men of the Lord. Okay. Coming in like a flood, man. But a stand is gonna be lifted up, man. Okay. Verse 72. For they shall waste. And take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay? Yeah, we're going to be cast out of our house, man. Okay? Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold is tried in the fire, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to be tried, man. Okay? We're going to have to go through that. It's starting to rain a little bit. It's light raining. That's okay. Verse 74. Hear ye... Here, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord, how about Shemiah Shai? Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So the Lord, how about Shemiah Shai is going to deliver his elect, man. Okay? We ain't worried about it. All right? These devils ain't going to win. They're going to lose, and they're going to lose bad. So, man, hey, don't worry about it. Okay? All right? Where else do I want to go to? Let's go to Revelation uh, 20 and 4. Now let's get that scripture. Because I said I was going to get it. It's starting to rain a little bit. All right. So it's starting to rain a little bit. So I'm going to have to wrap it up pretty soon. Okay. I don't want my phone to get wet. All right. Let's keep going. All right. Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones that, and they that sat upon them. And judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh, and which have not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither have received his mark in his forehead or in his hand, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years, man. So, yeah, we're going to rule with Yahweh Shai, man, okay, when he comes back, all right? Even if he's many foot to death, and they got them guillotines ready, man, ready to go, okay, all right? See what else we got in here. Uh, yeah. Mm. Let's make it short. Okay. Yeah, let's go to Matthew chapter 24. And let's read verse 6. Okay. The book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 6. And I'm going to have to wrap it up pretty soon because it's starting to rain a little bit. Lord willing, it hold out. <laughs> Lord willing, I pray it does. I hope it hold out, homie. All right. <laughs> Matthew 24, and verse 6. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. We're starting, you see that. You're hearing wars and rumors of wars, man. Okay. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You see that, man. Another earthquake happened somewhere. I think it was uh, Pakistan somewhere, all right? And then you had another earthquake that happened in Turkey, man, all right? And we all know who's doing that shit, man. Esau, even the so-called white man, he's doing that shit, man, through his harp system, man, okay? Verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows, and not to mention this snow in California. Who ever heard of that, man? These devils doing this shit, man, all right? Now... Y'all about me out so I can also play part in that as well. But hey, <laughs> it's these damn devils, man. Using, hey, they want to control the weather. They want to be like the most high, man. 
all right but pretty soon they're gonna be brought down to a hellish condition man they asses are going into captivity for a thousand years and hey after these thousand years up man it's over over diverse 18 is waiting on you damn devils man all right all right, let's continue. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Verse 10. And they shall, sorry, and then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. You see that, man. Okay? All right. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Oh, uh, you all saw that video from IUIC, man. I right, ain't talking about, uh, <laughs> man, this is the craziest shit I ever heard, man. But I'm not surprised hearing it, man, because I heard it throughout Christianity, man. Talking about the two thirds that are going to die on this side, then they're going to come back and down, and then going to die again in the kingdom. That makes no sense, man. And I'm going to do a lesson on that, all right? Well, I'll get around to it today, Lord willing, all right? But hey, these man, you look, you should know who the true prophets are by now and who's a false prophet, man. Point blank period, man. Okay? Alright? Let's continue to read on. Verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many is gonna wax cold, man. Alright, it's gonna be a doggy dog world out here. Every man for themselves. Okay? Verse 13, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved, okay? So, hey, we're going to be saved from this calamity, man, okay? All right? Let's get here. Matthew 24 and verse 21, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor nor ever shall be. Verse 22, and it said, those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So, hey, the days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. Okay? All right? So, hey, we almost out of here. Okay? Just hang tight, man. Hang in there. All right? Let's see. Let me get a few more. And I'm going to have to wrap it up, man. Okay? Let's go to Sirocco, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Let's read that. Make no tear and turn to the glory. How about you, y'all shot? And put not off from day to day. All right, don't wait until it's too late, man. Time is running out. And we just read that in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. All right, the days are being shortened for the elect's sake, man. Don't wait until it's too late to turn to you. How about you, y'all shot, man? Okay? Because time is running out. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's continue. Sirocco Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 7. Make no tear and turn to the glory how about Shinyal Shai and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the glory how about Shinyal Shai come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay? So hey, don't wait until it's too late, man. Okay? Because like it says, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction is going to come, man. Sudden destruction is on its way, man. Okay? All right? And of course you all know they getting rid of that old that whole C19 thing coming in May the 11th, man. Okay, they about to get rid of that. Okay. So, hey. When they shall say peace and safety, man, then sudden destruction shall come upon them as travail upon the woman with child, and they shall not escape. That's uh 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3, man. Okay? All right? 1 Thessalonians. Let's go to Daniel 12 book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 excuse me and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince was standing for the children of thy people and there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book the book of light man and that's the Lord's elect only the elect is going to be saved out of this man okay and protected when all hell breaks loose like I say, some of the men of the Lord may be put to death for this truth, man. But that's okay. Because we're going to make it, man. Hey, like it tells you, let's get that scripture. Let's go to Mark 9 and verse 1. Mark 9 and verse 1. <clears throat> the book of Mark chapter 9 and verse 1. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that there be some of them that stand here which shall not taste the death, Till they have seen the kingdom of 
power come with power, man. Okay? So some of the men of the Lord ain't going to die, man. Some of the men of the Lord are going to actually be imbued with spiritual power. And this is what we're looking forward to, man. Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. This is what we're looking forward to. We want those powers, man. I know I do. Lord willing, man. How rock does that, man? Okay? Because, hey, <laughs> we're tired, man. And we're ready to see this place go down, man. Okay? Let's, uh, let's see. Uh, what else I had? I had another scripture in my head, too, man. Um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I got it now. Because, hey, pretty soon, it's true. It's going to be gone, man. Okay, you're going to be looking for the problems real soon, man. So, hey, these devils about to clamp down on this truth. All right, and I watched a video from the Elder Yasha woman, man, where they're talking about an infodemic, man. What in the hell is an infodemic? <laughs> yeah, too much information is getting out about these damn devils. And they want to shut this truth down. And this truth will be shut down pretty soon, man. So let's read this scripture and I'm going to wrap it up right here, man. All right. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So the famine of the word is fast approaching, man. So, like we say, get this truth and repent while you still got time, man. Okay. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north to the east, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahshua, and shall not find it. You're not going to find this word real soon, man. Okay. So, hey, take this shit seriously, man. Okay. All right. Let me get one more and I'm going to wrap it up. Acts chapter 14 verse 22. Let's get that because we're gonna have to go through that persecution, man. Okay, Acts chapter 14 verse 22, and I'm gonna end it here. Confirming the souls of the disciples and and exhorting them to continue in the faith. We're exhorting you to continue in the faith, man. Okay, all right. Continue in this truth, man. Okay. Acts chapter 14 verse 22 confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, man so we got to go through tribulation man okay and tribulation is coming persecution is coming okay so hey take heed <clears throat> excuse me take ease not me what would happen now all right so with that i'm in the air man all right going on long enough all right so with that i'm gonna end it here man all right let me put the camera back over here get close close right there all right well i'm gonna this is my first time man so i'll get the hang of it <laughs> lord willing all right <laughs> all right hold on let's move back there we go all right so we're gonna face the east and say all praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak with Dodge. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and citations goes to the whole flock like that scattered abroad. See you guys with another lesson soon, Lord willing. And this has been, all right, camp, Saturday morning camp, man, persecution. All right, and some of us may be put to death. I don't, I can't, I can't. You know, I haven't figured out the title yet, but it'll get there, man. All right. So with that, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Kwam Yasharala, Shawn Wong, and Wild Baba Ball, DTA Wild Baba Ball, soon more willing. Boom. Shawn Wong till next time, brothers and sisters. Shawn Wong. All right. Shawn Wong. <laughs>